behalf of Sam, Kelly, and their families, I'd like to welcome you here today. Although this is their day, it's also a tribute to all of you. Kelly and Sam would like to take a moment to recognize their parents on a special occasion. They offer their gratitude for all the love and care that you have provided throughout the years. Carol, Lewis, and Barbara, your unconditional gifts of love and support have inspired Kelly and Sam to become who they are today, and they thank you from the bottoms of their hearts. Without you, this day would not have been possible. Let's take a look at Kelly. You all know that she's just as beautiful inside as she is outside. Kel, you have done well. Your grandparents, Ita, Ito, Mama and Papa, are smiling down on you today. One of the questions I most commonly get asked is, how does it feel to be a twin? And my response is, I don't know what it feels like not to be a twin. Callie has been my sidekick, my other half, and my most trusted advisor for over 35 years, and I wouldn't have it any other way. So when Hove tells me about this girl I had to meet, that was, in his words, literally perfect. We're sitting around the table and it's like the three of us knew each other forever, you know? And if you know Sammy boy, you know how much friendship and family means to him. And, you know, I think Sam, you know, asked me about Kelly. It was like, dude, she's one of the boys. Sam, my sweet, sweet Superman. Standing here before you today feels incredibly surreal, but I know this is exactly where we are supposed to be. And despite the long journey to get here, I truly believe everything happens for a reason. As you have reminded me almost every single day for the past six years, if you're not nervous, you ain't ready. These are words once spoken by Norman Graf, your late legendary Wesleyan rowing coach. Well, let's just say I am very nervous and very ready. As many of us here know, I am one of the most indecisive people out there. But one thing I've never been more sure about is you. Standing here today to become your wife is the easiest decision of my life. Growing up, I never dreamt about my wedding gown, but dreamt about finding my soulmate and true love. I promised myself I would never give up on that and I'm so glad I never did. I have met my true soulmate in you and I am incredibly blessed. Sam for being caring, loving, and a respectful guy. Sam, the love you have for Kelly, your kindness, gentleness, just the way you look at her, have won her hearts over. I know from experience of 47 years that you're going to need a lot of patience in the years to come. 
You can count on my advice and support. Always remember the words that a very smart man once said. A man who gives in when he is wrong is a wise man. But a man who gives in when he is right is a married man. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Sam, seven years ago, you swiped right into Kelly's life, pun intended. The name Sam became a regular part of our vocabulary thanks to the stars aligning with a number of forces, which include Bumble, your sister Sarah, and our high school friend Victoria. It didn't take much for me to like you. You have an amazing sense of humor, which I know you can't say the same about me. <laughs> You're kind. You have the most warm and welcoming family, and not to mention, you enjoy my favorite activity of playing dominoes. But above all else, you make Kelly happy. Kelly. When thinking about what I wanted to share with you on our long awaited wedding day, I thought about what you mean to me and how I view us as a couple. And the one thing that I kept coming back to is us being a team now and forever. So in an effort to put things in a context that you'll understand, I'll use football <laughs> as an analogy for our relationship and lives together. <laughs> So the first stage being the, um, the before Kelly and the before Sam stage, BK and BS, as we call it. So it's similar to a first date when you talk about a quarterback and a receiver coming together as teammates for the first time. There may be a certain sense of awkwardness on and off the field, and there's not a lot of chemistry necessarily from the get-go. Uh, even though each individual may have been the best player on their previous team or even the top draft pick in their respective position, they don't know how to work together. The receiver knows how to run the routes and the quarterback knows where to put the ball, but their timing may be off and they don't yet fully trust one another. So similar to us, we were both good on our own, but personally, I always felt that there was something missing to make me great. Within five minutes of meeting you at that little cocktail bar on West 11th Street in the village, I distinctly remember thinking that you could be the person who fills that void. is a public pronouncement by two people of their commitment to one another. This ceremony today fulfills a public component. You two stand here now before family and friends with the intention to declare your love and commitment to each other. This ceremony is a witness to your love and desire to become one in marriage. A marriage is a private promise between two people that takes a lifetime to fulfill, a promise to share your lives generously and enthusiastically each and every day. A promise to listen when the other needs to talk, a promise to comfort when the other needs assurance, a promise to renew the appreciation and love you feel for each other. It has been said that a successful marriage requires falling in love many times, always with the same person. Today isn't about going through the motions to legalize our relationship or to just throw a big party, but maybe a little bit of that. <laughs> 
Today, surrounded by all of our loved ones, I choose you to be my husband. I am proud and over the moon to be your wife and join my life with yours. So Sam, I vow to support you no matter what life throws at us and to always inspire you. I vow to tell you good morning, handsome, the minute we wake up and kiss you good night before we go to bed. I vow to tell you and Teddy, I love you before the lights go out because I know you love that. <laughs> I vow to celebrate with you when the Patriots win and love Tom Brady no matter what team he plays for or how many times he reverses his retirement decision. <laughs> I vow to always remember that laughter is life's sweetest creation and I will never stop laughing with you. I vow to always prioritize you and our family, to be kind to you, to always be fun loving and positive, to be adventurous and explore the world with you, and to love you for as long as we both shall live. And lastly, I vow that I will choose you every single day a million times over, not because I have to, but because I want to. Almost eight years ago to this day at my wedding, Kelly said to Javi and me, and I quote, I truly enjoyed watching your love grow over the years, and I find the kind of love you found is so rare and one I can only hope to have one day. You found your love that is so rare and never take that for granted. Love isn't always easy and it's not supposed to be, but it is so worth it. It is so worth it to have that person to come home to at the end of the day to have an ear that will always listen, to comfort you when you're having a bad day. Thankfully, Teddy can provide all of that. <laughs> you're gonna look back on today as one of the best days of your life, and the best part is this is only the beginning. We've already been through a lot of ups and downs together, and all of which have brought us closer and showed that we'll do anything for our partner. I know our relationship will continue to grow over time, but my vow to you is that I will always work to be the best husband and find the ways to love and support you. I will always put in that work, but it will never feel like work to me because that is what it means to really love a teammate. me to raise the volume on the TV when we're watching a foreign language show with English subtitles. <laughs> I love the way you love Teddy and have made him part of our little family, foreshadowing the father you will one day be. 
You love Teddy so much that you put the AC on for him, but not for me when you think it's unnecessary, <laughs> and give him water from the refrigerator so it's cold and fresh for him. Kelly and Sam, congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to great places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the couple who will decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say we don't choose to go there. With your heads full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along, you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. I love that we both value family and strong friendships. We're both incredibly blessed to have such supportive and loving families and friends. I am so grateful for your dad, Dan, who graciously agreed to perform our ceremony. You once told me, I hope to one day be as great of a dad as my own, which I think is the perfect testament to the kind of person you and your dad both are. What I find profound about this day is we get to choose the family we build, and I am choosing you, Sam. We are choosing each other.